let's talk about some logarithmic rules we're gonna start with the product rule if we have natural log of a times b it equals to natural log of a plus natural log of b this is the typical product rule for the natural log if we have the product of two functions function a times function b and when you take its natural log it equals to natural log a plus natural log b remember you can take log instead of natural log it is up to you so whether you take log or natural log if you have the product of two functions it equals to log a plus log b this is the logarithmic product rule let's suppose my function a is x and my function b is y so it equals to natural log x plus natural log y my function a is x and my function b is y so there is a product of two functions x times y so by taking their natural log it equals to natural log x plus natural log y we may have the product of many more functions it is way important rule we're gonna use it in upcoming lectures plenty of times just keep it in your mind my second logarithmic rule is quotient rule it is the rule which is used when we have the function in fractional form for example if i have natural log of a over b it equals to natural log of a minus natural log of b remember in product rule we have the product of a and b but in quotient rules we have the function in fractional form function a or function b quotient means the fractional form of the function so in such case it equals to natural log a minus natural log b remember in the product we had natural log a plus natural log b but in quotient rule we have natural log a minus not plus minus natural log b suppose my function a is x and my function b is y so it equals to natural log x minus natural log y this is the second very important logarithmic rule keep it safe in your mind my third form of the logarithmic rule will be the product and quotient rules these are the rules which are used for the function in product form as well as in fractional form suppose there is natural log of a times b or c it equals to natural log a plus natural log b minus natural log c look we have the product of two functions a times b in numerator and the third function in denominator so we have the product form in numerator as well as the fractional form therefore it is called product and quotient rule product and quotient rule because of this product it is called product and because of this fractional form it is called quotient so overall we call it product and quotient rule for the product we already know that we have natural log a plus natural log b for the fractional we have minus natural log c this is for the numerator and this is for the denominator for the numerator we have natural log a plus natural log b because we have a product for the denominator we have minus natural log c because we have the fractional form suppose function a is x function b is 2y and function c is x squared it equals to natural log x plus natural log 2y minus natural log x squared one more example which is natural log of x squared plus 8x into 1 over x all or 2x cubed function a is x squared plus 8x function b is 1 over x function c is 2 times x squared so it equals to natural log x squared plus 8x plus natural log 1 over x because there is a product of these two functions this pink one times this green one in the numerator therefore we have plus here and minus natural log of 2x cubed because in denominator we have 2x cubed so we're gonna use minus not plus plus is for the product for the fractional form we're gonna use minus similarly here my a is x my b is 2y and my c is x squared so it equals to natural log x plus natural log 2y minus natural log x squared one more product and quotient rule suppose i have natural log of a over b or c times d it equals to natural log a minus natural log b minus natural log c plus natural log d why we call it product and quotient rule because look in the numerator we have the fractional form that's why it is called quotient and in the denominator we have the product form c times d therefore it is called product 
so or I'll be call it product and quotient rule. The numerator is in fractional form a over b. Therefore, it equals to natural log a minus natural log b. And then minus, there is another fraction here, remember, minus natural log c plus natural log d because there is a product c times d. So natural log c plus natural log d, we're going to use plus for the product and minus for the fractional. We used minus two times, one for the numerator which is natural log a minus natural log b. Second negative sign is for the main fraction here which is O C times D. Suppose I have initial log of X minus 4 or X cubed or X to the 4 times Y. It equals to initial log of X minus 4 minus initial log X cubed minus initial log X to the 4 plus initial log Y. My function A is X minus 4 and my function B is X cubed so for the A, I'm going to put X minus 4. For the B, I'm going to put X cubed. My C is X to the 4. My D is Y. So I'm going to plug in C equals to X to the 4 and D equals to Y. It is not only applicable for the natural log. It is also applicable for the log LOG. So whether you write it for the log LOG or natural log, for both natural log and for the log, you're going to use the same rule. Don't worry here. You can replace natural log with the log as well. It depends on you.